10 essential shoes every woman should own. Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video. I'm Silvana Patrick, an award-winning personal stylist, recently become an author, and currently based in Sydney, Australia. In this channel, you're gonna find elevated styles for women who want to feel special without compromising in comfort or breaking the bank. My goal is to expose you to different brands and different styling ideas, and hopefully you have fun in the process. As tempting as it can be to stockpile your shoe rack with sparkly, feathery, sky-high heels, Today, we're gonna leave them for special occasions. Don't get me wrong, there's a room for them, but they're not practical. So today we're gonna focus on styles that stand the test of time, which doesn't mean boring, far from that. So I'm so excited to share with you my go-to pieces, the ones that I tend to be reaching out each and every time. These 10 pair of shoes um, can guarantee you that's all you need for each and every occasion. Think fancy flats, ankle boots, strappy sandals, and the likes. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm a firm believer that when we have the right pieces, we don't need as much because it simplifies our lives and saves us precious time and money. Like any other accessory that has the aesthetic part of it, shoes have also the functional or practical side of it which is even more important because it's your health. I don't compromise in quality when it comes to shoes. So I'm really deliberate when I'm choosing my brands. This portion of the video is kindly sponsored by Vivaya, a sustainable and eco-friendly brand with a luxurious and modern design without the price tag. They're mostly made of antibacterial fabric that's highly washable, and they come in an infinite number of colors and styles. In celebration of their second anniversary, they are offering a discount code. Please check the code in the description box below. Also, the other items will be listed there. Some of sold out or old, so I um, added similar styles for you to check out. I have to say that I needed a pair of fancy flats in my wardrobe because all I had was either running shoes or meaty heels, I didn't have anything completely flat. And I was more than happy to review their products and I was absolutely amazed by the quality. They are very well made and I love the styles. They are timeless styles, yet the colors are phenomenal. I, I picked two styles. One is more of a pointed toe. Both are pointed toes, which for me is very, very important when it comes to flats because they keep elongating your legs. And the first one is a simple pump in, in an e-crew color. That's so, so easy to style. I like the neutral color because then I can add colors in my outfit as well, or I keep it simple for summer. Because it's an unfussy style, it just goes with pretty much everything. You can wear it with your favorite dainies or, or dresses. Everything will go perfectly with that. but I have to say that I have a fancy spot for this mustard fancy flats here. I'm pairing these flats with a gray monochromatic outfit. And as you can see, it's not a simple style because this skirt has got a beautiful cutout and has a beautiful detail at the front. But I think that it's the perfect way to wear flats when you want a fancy look, but you don't want to wear high heels necessarily. And I, I'm a huge fan of pairing gray with yellows. I think they are so complementary. The other way that I like to style something yellow and that golden yellow is with, is with browns. So you either go on the opposite side with grays and, and things like that, or you go with the same family colors, something that it's, it's got some warmth to them. And I'm wearing it with these pants and a simple tank top in the same color. So you've got that rich monochromatic outfit that is kind of informal with the tank. The tank gives it a relaxed feel. And then you drop the attention to that golden detail at the bottom and, and they really, really become the focal point. So that's another look that it's good for running errands or when you are on a beach side or something like that, that's got that casual feel, but it's still very well put together. Fan, these flats are the perfect ones when you're lying around the couch and something comes up 
you don't want to be bothered with what you're wearing. All you have to do is just put something on and out the door you go. I'll be using the same outfits here with different shoes and hopefully show to you that just by changing the shoes, you change the outfit completely. Modern ballet flats. From the beach to the city, flat ballerinas are essential for the woman on the go. Stay on trendy seasons with square toe styles. I'm loving these shoes for a number of reasons. Firstly, because of the square toes. Yes, that's no secret there. I'm a square toe lover. Se secondly, because it's extremely comfortable. And last but not least, I needed something that is ultra comfortable, yet a little prettier than sneakers. Personally, I'm not a sneaker person. And I'm finding these flats the perfect replacement for a sneaker for me. Because it does exactly the same thing. Having the perfect pair of ankle boots in your arsenal is as important as having an LBD. They can quite literally be styled with everything, from denim and t-shirt for the weekend to your favorite workwear. I'm pairing it classically with denim and a um, winter jacket. Another way to style it with a summer dress. Here though, I'm wearing it with a junky oversized knit and a skirt for a more adult version. It takes off the feminine edge, giving the look more balance. It's a compromise between that ultra feminine to a little bit more boyish look, which gives it a fine balance. In my understanding, every well curated wardrobe should have a knee high boot. It's up to you if you want to go any higher. The, the trend comes and goes. I would stick to just below the knee. I absolutely love to pair it with my favorite denim jeans, which is pretty much the only time I wear my skinny jeans. It's a personal thing because they, they can easily be tucked in. And pair it with a blazer because it gives that bourgeois feel that it's completely timeless. The more traditional way to achieve that bourgeois style is to pair with those equestrian boots. Uh, I'm just giving my own spin here and putting in a little bit of heel and fine heel. But that's completely personal. You can still stick to the more traditional way. Alternatively, it looks phenomenal with dresses and I like shift dresses and figure hugging dresses, so you can layer that with a coat on top or things like that. It just goes with absolutely everything. Summer dresses, mini skirts, your Bermudas, they are so trending at the moment. Everything goes phenomenal with knee-high boots. And just make sure you don't contrast too much the color of the boots with the color of the pants, for example, or the skirt you're wearing, because they will cut your legs, if that's your concern. is for drills. This is the style that will absolutely come every single summer on trend. And the reason is because they are classics. They are merely for summer, but they give the look a more feminine feel to it and a little bit more relaxed feel to it. So they look phenomenal with summer dresses. That's absolutely a no brainer. Or you can wear with shorts and linen pieces and things like that. Anything that will complete that relaxed summer vacation feel to any outfit. The second way I would style is padrilles, and that's my favorite actually, is by pairing it with high-waisted dennings or pants and full length and almost covering my shoes. And make sure you wear the highest as possible, a platform is padrilles wedges because they are extremely comfortable to walk regardless of the height. And with that, by you covering, almost covering your shoes, they will give you the impression that you have those extra centimeters that we're all looking for. Another staple in any woman's wardrobe is pumps. You should have at least black and, and ones that match your skin tone, which makes my leg appear longer than they are. For styles like this are perfect because every time you wear something cropped, you are cutting your legs. So if you are concerned about your height, these are fantastic. So again, they're extremely versatile for wearing with your favorite denim culottes 
or beanie skirts or anything that is needed for that more refined, a little bit more office friendly perhaps, and that elongating effect that we all want. When you think of stilettos, you think of those pointed toes, very classic stilettos with very fine and high heels. It doesn't need to be like that. Although these are very important to have, I think the strappy sandals, in my case, they do the trick for that kind of situation, for weddings or more refined occasions. But the stilettos, the typical stilettos are not so much me. I prefer something a little bit more modern, like the ones I'm wearing. They are not as refined, they are more edgy. But I wouldn't go as far as going to a wedding with these ones in particular. Yes, if they are, the more formal, more pointed toes, yes. A good pair of strappy sandals are arguably the most versatile styles you can have in your closet because they add that refinement to your look. Obviously, you can wear them for special occasions. They are a must for those occasions, but also because they can refine an otherwise more mundane look, like wearing with denims or your summer Bermudas or a summer dress. Well, because I live in Australia and it's not so, the winter is not so severe here, I find them even more special when you wear them with a winter coat. I think they give the look that warmth that we all want and that touch of sophistication. Not many people would consider mules as must-have shoes. They are for me though, and the reason is because they are a great tone down from the strappy sandals. For starters, they're easier to wear because all you have to do is just slip in them and out the door you go. They come in so many styles. There are more refined styles and they come in all sorts of heels, midi heels, high heels, thin, thick, chunky, you name it. So you pick the one that more resonate more with your style. I have a few styles in, in my closet and I like colorful and I like to vary with the, the length of the heels as well for, you know, depending on the mood and depending on what I'm doing during the day. But for me, they are pretty feminine. They go with everything. They are super versatile. And like I said, they're really easy to wear. So in, in my case, instead of opting for formal stilettos, I prefer more traditional sling bags. And again, they can come with fine heels or chunky heels, higher, lower. There are so many ones to choose from. I like something a little bit more elongating. This one is extra elongating. It's got a, got a pointed cross, square toes. I love the brand. It's an Italian brand that it's very traditional and it makes in a fantastic shoemaker called but Cesare Paciotti. I absolutely love this brand. It's an old brand and very traditional. I admit that sling bags are more office friendly, so I understand that it's not for everybody, but I still think that they are a good option to have. They are the next, they are one step down for the stilettos and one step up for spadrilles, for example. There's nothing worse than having an interview coming up and having to run to the stores to get a pair of shoes. These are the perfect shoes for those occasions. Having a pair of shoes that you can walk in and that suits many, many occasions, networking events, interviews, business presentation. It's the kind of shoes that either in black or matching your skin color is absolutely a must have. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if I left something out that you would like to see or your go-to styles. I would love to interact with you. Please go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if it's something of your interest. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week everyone. Take care and bye-bye.